The the uh, New Hampshire Municipal Association, mm -hmm. the thing that he was talking about, yep. I mean, there's still time for us to do that. It's mm -mm. September 26th that it's due. No. Yes. That's the meeting date. The date to file <coughs> is September 17th. The date to file counterproposals. Oh, counterproposals, yeah. Yes. But, but I mean, it, we can still come up with and have somebody go there and vote no. on the proposals oh, yes. that no. are done. Yes. No, no. Yes. Not unless we sit down and discuss it here in public and have a consensus. Okay, can I just get a point That's of order? That's what I was because trying to do. It's okay. been brought up. This is simply the New Hampshire Municipal Association's mm -hmm. time frame. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. This is not if we want to bring our legislators in and have a discussion and talk about not perhaps just creating laws, but uh, amending current laws, deleting current laws that benefit Hampton. Because quite frankly, I think I'm more interested in that than what the, I have reviewed the New Hampshire Municipal Association's recommendations. I don't find any of it particularly germane to us. I find most of it small bore, but I am keenly interested in what is our deadline, bringing our legislators in that we have a discussion. It doesn't have to be filtered through the NHMA. And I, I've reviewed that, and uh, Mr. Silbert spoke about it, but I would say to the taxpayers on the television that I found none of it that would essentially benefit them in any substantial way or form. Uh, but if we want to talk about that, we can go around the board. Yeah, uh, we're paying dues to the NHMA, and I have a little sour spot for the NHMA, particularly because of the LGC. We're paying dues to this outfit. They lobby in behalf of the communities, and I think the least we can do is state Hampton's position, particularly on some of the, the heavier duty things like that pollution control. But I don't think, I don't want to see a person or, or see, have us send the poor manager up again. He's always fetching and carrying. I don't think it's fair to uh, come to any kind of consensus without all of us discussing this. Some of the things were, were practically irrelevant. You don't have to go into them. But some of the issues are, are serious. And if the NHMA can get enough muscle together as its lobbying, uh, as its lobbying service, we might be able to help. I think we have outstanding legislators. But there are only five of them. And the rest of the state says the hell with the seacoast. So I don't, I don't think there's a problem with the local legislators getting the message. I think they have a pretty good feeling. I think you did, and so did you when you were in the legislature. But we're talking about statewide, and these are the people who are taking the money for the schools and building pools. Remember Claremont? Remember all that good stuff? And I would like to have, either we ignore it totally, as far as I'm concerned, or have some relevant discussion on some of the really hot topics that were given to us that we had time to deal with and, and send, a, send a memo or send a representative or something and say these are the five hot issues, whatever it is. But I, I just, you know, I, I, I agree with you that we, it's nice to sit down with our representatives. They're going to get sandbagged. They're sandbagged all the time in Concord. They're trying, they're knocking themselves out and the other community. What, right or wrong? Well, I think as a, as a state rep, you've got to build some allies up there. You have to do that, and I think our state reps do that. Yeah. I, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't see a necessity for the NHMA. I'd rather see us work more directly Some with our do. own reps and, and, and spend our time and effort on that than yeah. doing this here. But I'm just concerned there are so few of them compared to the rest of the state, and we're banging our head on the wall. But if, you, if, you, if they work together with other cities and towns and reps that are, are other reps that are in the same, similar situation as us, and there are some, the Lakes region, the, the other areas, uh, they can work together and, and, and get some of these things. So I'd rather spend that more of our effort on, on working with our local legislatures and I agree with you, and, and, and let me just go to Rick and then you, Jim. Yes, sir. Yeah, I also agree with your position, but, you know, I just hate to uh, take the negative approach that is voiced here so often. This is the system. We have to work with the system, not against it. There's an old saying, you can't fight City Hall. And I think this is it, State Hall. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Mr. Waddell. Yeah, I, I, I think... You know, people have a, have a negative aspect about this from before, but I, I do think they've changed. And I think 
that they do do a lobbying eff effort, effort on the part of the municipalities. Mm -hmm. And I think that one, two things. Either we go along, with, we work with them, or we get out of it. Mm -hmm. Don't, I mean, if we're going to pay $15,000 a year, is it? Is yeah, right. 16? Right. If we're going to pay that, then we might as well work with them. Otherwise, yeah. we really should get out of it. You're right. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's a lobbying group, the same as mm -hmm. they're paid lobbying groups, yeah. and they do lobby up there. They do, you know, work for municipalities. I know uh, on, on pension reform, which wouldn't have been one of your favorites, Rusty, but I, I know I, they worked an awful lot on that with municipalities. They worked an awful lot of, of uh, lobbying on the spiking issue. Yeah. Uh, so it's either, I, I agree, the kind of either, boy, I almost said something now, <laughs> an old expression. <laughs> either, either we pay it or we don't, you know? Yeah. I mean, either we go along with them or we just get out. Yeah. I think, I think there's room uh, to, to address both of those. I thought that their, their legislative agenda uh, didn't uh, impact us or our people in any way, shape, or form. Uh, let's go back to old business.